Hello, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Let's turn on some lights. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Here we are. Hey, man. Brothers and sisters, Shalom. Hey, before we go any farther, first and foremost, I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one-third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever it goes. Shalom. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Do it again. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good, good. It's on. I was wondering, you know, I'm glad I started turning on the microphone before I did anything else, man, because we don't want no trouble, man. So I want to thank the water to you, how about Shema Shai, you know, for putting the spirit on me to come out here again to preach the, to preach the gospel of peace. You know, uh, things are happening. The, the, uh, everything's been made manifest, brothers and sisters, you know. Uh, elders, apostles, the Lord put the spirit on the elders, apostles to, to even begin to call out. You know, call out these false prophets, man, for who they are. The false prophets, man. Because it's a serious business to be misleading the sheep. Blatantly, you know. And, and uh, you know, all disregard for these signs that's right there, obvious in the face. You know. So, hey, all praise to you. How about Shema Shai? Then, uh, let's see what happened the other day, just the other day. You know, Lord, let me see. Because this is the time, man. The, the warning is going out. People, there's many people that know that they're the Israelites. But what? They're not doing what the Lord has said, has said. You know, they're not returning to you. How about Shema Shah? They just know. Or they maybe don't even believe it. You know, so, hey man, great judgment is about to happen. And it's almost like, it feels almost like the calm before the storm. You know what I'm talking about? It really does, man. We, we already get, already, already understand what, they, what these uh, what these devils about to do, what, they, what their plans are, you know? With this great reset and all these things. With the, uh, the, uh, the crown royal about to be implemented, you know, mandatory. As well as the RFID microchip, which is going to be mandatory, which is prophesied to happen. You know, the hour of temptation and all that stuff. So I was on the phone the other day, you know, with my little ones. And the demon came back from inside the grocery store and started, she started talking about, you know, telling them, that right, you know, right before I hung up, I was about to go. Right before uh, she started, she started to tell her what, what, you know, all the wonderful things that she had got, you know, all the, all the supplies, replenishing the supplies. But then, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua allowed me to hear this thing talking about, oh, and, and uh, we got the pork, we got the, uh, the the lobster, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's just, boy, so listen, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua for opening up our eyes to see, man, and putting the spirit on us to repent, to, to, to have called us out of darkness into this marvelous light, you know, because there's... So many people out there that, you know, that, that either don't believe or they take it as a joke and they take it as a game. But what's going to happen to them in the, in the end, man? The, the scriptures already tell what's going to happen to them. Because what? They, didn't, they don't want to return to Yahweh by Shema Shai and repent and even start to do the things that please the Lord. You know, we all, we all, but we understand the big picture. Everybody, let's go back. Let's go get it. Let's go get some scriptures, man. Let's read some scriptures. That's what we're here for, to bring it out. Bring out the hundred percent truth of the scriptures, man. Hold on, bro. We almost we had it. Just a second, bro. Yeah, I just want to go here. I want to get this quick stripper right here. Shoot. It's lucky. Yeah, I just want to grab this scripture right here in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 9. Oh, man. The wind. <laughs> okay, here we go. Daniel, chapter 12, verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end, man. You know, what, what, more, what more do you need? Because the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Because, brothers, you and I know when we was growing up, you know, we, we all went to church. You know, because we had a zeal for you, how about Shema Shai, but not according to knowledge. And look, preacher bringing out the word. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. nobody understood what, what, what really he was saying. He didn't even know what the hell he was talking about. Why? Because the words were sealed up until the time of the end. Now, fast forward to here. 
to the present day. Fast forward to way back then when Abba Bibbins uh, turned the hearts, turned the children's hearts to the fathers, you know. As, and, and, and from there, one West was born. And look, look what we got now. With the, starting with the elders of the puzzle, Great Millstone, and all the other brothers on down. They started preaching the word up in New York City, out, out on the streets there, until the internet, you know, until YouTube came about. And then they started putting their thing up on, on YouTube and all. You know, I don't know the intricate details and everything, but hey, that's the, that's the you know, that's the story pretty much, you know, just, just, you know, without all the frills and all the in-depth understanding of it. But, you know, and then here we are, but this is the fruits that's prophesied, you know, because what did it say? And go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. And now look, look, look. These words are being preached on the four corners of the earth because of that seed that was planted. Prophecy being fulfilled, right? Closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Now we're reading these, these scriptures, you know, with the with a little bit of understanding that the Yahweh Shemel has given each individual a level of, a, a level of faith, you know, to understand. Like, and uh, you know, we're out here preaching the word, man, to the best of our ability. The words are unsealed. This is the time of the end, right? Many shall be purified and made white. Many. It doesn't say how many, but we're, we're hoping that, you know, it's tell, it tells you in the book of Zephaniah that the, uh, that the 144 hopefully elect and one third of Israel will be saved. They're going to understand this word, but two thirds of the children of Israel not going to get it, man. They, they, you know, they're going to be cut off. Why? Right? It says many shall be purified and made white. They're going to be made pure. They're going to have that. That pure understanding, you know, they, they, they're going to believe. They're going to be washed with the word. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be made white. And tried. Right? And we're going to be going through these through these uh, trials and tribulations. We're going to be going. We're going to be going through this chastisement, you know? But and then, but what? Through all of that, we're going to continue on in the faith. You know, all praises to you. How about Shema Shai? Because that is our lot. Okay? That's why I say that. He said, go thy way. Go, Daniel, go. He said, go thy, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed and sealed up to the time of the end. So now the words are unclosed, you know, so we can understand these words. Many shall be purified. Many is going to be purified by these words, you know, and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So the wicked of our people, just like the story I was just telling you, you know, about that demon. Still talking about them eating crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster and shit, you know. With no regard of the truth of the word. You know, having someone that the Lord has opened up their eyes right there, you know, so close. You know, so close, man. Somebody you can pick up the phone and talk to, still don't understand. You know, somebody that done made epistles, you know, about. Sin, sin, the sin, the change, the, the, the change, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's beautiful, man. It's right there. In broad daylight for the world to see. Just like the Lord say. You know. I will set them in order before your eyes man. What boy. The scriptures say. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. Okay. It says. And from that time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away. And the abomination that make a desolation set up. That shall, that shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Right, because the daily sacrifice, just preaching the word, man, coming out here, bringing out this 100% truth, uh, telling the children of Israel to repent, that they are, you know, the children of the, of the Most High, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man, coming out here, bringing out this 100% truth of the scriptures, right? And the abomination that make a desolation set up, that shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he that waiteth, right? So once you get this understanding, man, once the Lord has opened up your eyes to the 100% truth of the scriptures, man, boy, and you repent, you hold on. But if that's your lot, and that is the lot of the 144, hopefully like the one-third of Israel. That's why right now we don't beat our head upside the wall no more, man. Because now we're getting to the, we're coming to the fullness, the understanding. But we still rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the faith. We're still doing the work, man, to the best of our abilities. Because, hey, this is what the Lord has proclaimed for us to do, right? Wait, we got to finish this scripture so we can move on to the next one. I don't want to jump ahead. Okay, it says, Blessed is he that waited and coming to the 1,305 and 30 days, but go thy way, 
till the till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days, man. So everyone has their lot to play. Everybody's got their role to play. So that's why. Um, let's jump before we go somewhere else. I want to jump over here real quick. Got to bring this out. Romans chapter eleven verse seven. It says, "What then? Israel have not attained that which you seek it for." Yeah, that's right. Israel, the children of Israel, the uh, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, they have not attained what they're seeking for because, like we, like I said earlier, we have a zeal for the Most High. Back in back back when we were all young, man, sitting up in front of the preacher, yeah, you know, with the mamas and stuff. You know, learning, that's because that's the way it is, man. The so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American and Indians always, always was bound. You know, if, unless you just was with one of them damn wicked ass, wicked ass demon, demon, demon women. Somewhere along your life, you would, you would, you would wound up in the church, man. You know, most of the, most of the, most of the, the children of Israel, because hey, that's 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 in our spirit, man, to serve Yahweh Shema Shai. We just just. Um, had a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. But now we've come back to the full understanding. Good night. I know she wasn't gonna speak to me, you know. <laughs> These wicked ass people. Hey, but look, what then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, man. That's right. So the rest were blinded, like I was just saying. They be right there in your face, in your own household. That's why the scriptures say. A uh, man falls with to be them of his own house, household, man. Because what does he say? I'll, I'll call you uh, two by city. What is it? Uh, two by family and one by city. Salaki. Yes, man. You know, so we understand that this thing is. This is the way this thing is, man. Ooh, look, it's about to rain, man. It's about to rain. I wanted to bring this out too, man. Brothers and sisters, Salaki. I keep saying, man. It's just that uh, when I came up here, I didn't, I didn't know. I was hoping that Yahweh yeah, Shema Shah would put a spirit on me, man, because I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, been a long day, but we, we out here doing the work. Nevertheless, you know, being instant in season and out of season, no matter what. I wanted to bring this up. Uh, yeah. In the book of First Timothy, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it right here. First Timothy, chapter four, verse sixteen. It says, meditate upon these things. Give, give thyself wholly unto them, that thy prophecy may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, right? Because what? Take heed. And I brought that up in the blue letter. That's all I was looking for. Sometimes this phone be going back. It's like it, it actually loses what you had it set on. Okay, let me see. I got it right here. Okay, yeah. Take heed unto thyself, right? And unto the doctrine in them. Well, Kalaki, Salaki. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Now look, when you hear this word, you take heed to it, man. This is not... Boy. If I could just express. Let's, let's see if we can express it. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah say... You know, uh, we didn't choose him. He, he chose us because this is something that is, is a, uh, it's the truth, and uh, the world can't receive the truth. So therefore, this is not just out there everywhere. The Lord has to call you into this. You know, so it's very special, right? And once you get it, once you hear it, either you really believe it or you or you don't if you if you really don't believe this truth if you really don't believe this doctrine you're not gonna take heed to it you're not gonna go all in you're gonna uh, you know uh, like it will be like a fad unto you it'll be like some kind of fashion unto you but it will not be your meat and I, listen I want to tell I want I gotta send elder apostle Gabar 
uh, 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 Tawada, you know, for because he he uh, he brought up that word meat and into and uh, and he, he gave us the definition for it, you know, and it, it means your whole being. It's like your all, like everything. It's like your meat, you know, and that that just that one word right there gives meaning to the whole. It just it just glue put, brings the glue and cement a lot of things together, you know, because that's our this is our meat to do the will of Yahweh Shimei Shai. This is our, our whole being, you know. So if you hear this word, man, and it really you if you really believe it, this, this it becomes your meat because you then you really believe in Yahweh Shimei Shai. You believe in all the prophecies. You know the Lord's coming back. It's, and then you begin to let go. You begin after you begin to wash. You begin to wash it with the word. You meditate in the word day and night. You take heed, right? And that's what it's talking about right here. It says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly into them, because seeing all these things going to be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be? You know, that's what we're talking about right here. What? And then what? What? It goes on to say, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Right? So you should be. Abounding in this truth, abounding in the faith, getting better and better, getting more understanding of it. You know, Yahweh Shema Asha put the spirit on you and the understanding on you to do so. You know, take heed unto thyself, right? Heed, and that word heed, we're right here. So in the Strong's in the blue letter, it says to hold upon. Implication to retain, to detain, right? To pay attention to, to give heed unto, hold forth, mark, stay. Right? Don't leave. Don't don't be tossed to and fro. This is it. Right here, brothers and sisters. You know? It says, Take heed unto thyself and into the doctrine. Continue in them. For doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. And them that hear thee. Let's look up that word here. Uh-huh, since we're right here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, let's see what we're gonna, gonna get. Good night. Let's see what we're gonna get for the word here, right here. Right, once again in the blue letter, Strong's. It means understand, and them that understand, you know, because what? It's Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, the ones that called us in here, because you know it's up to him who he gives his understanding and knowledge and wisdom to, man. Really, it is so. That's the spirit, because everybody's what? Standing in their lot, brothers and sisters. Standing in their lot. So let's go, but you know, but it, it so that's why I'm constantly thanking you how about Shima Shai. At this point, we're supposed to be watching and praying, man, watching the prophecies. The brothers are bringing out some beautiful uh, epistles about the things that's happening on around the world. You know, watching and praying, man, and, and redeeming the, the time, you know, knowing that the days are evil. Watching Esau eat him, having building up the faith in Yahweh Shema Shai. You right? Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 8. It says, Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth one another has fulfilled the law. Right? So you, we loving each other, man, by, by uh, coming back to the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability. You know, coming back to. to how Yahweh Shema Shai intended us to be in the, in the first place, man. Loving each other, man. You know, loving Yahweh Shema Shai. Loving ourselves uh, and taking heed into the doctrine and doing what Yahweh Shema Shai say. Because what the Lord say, if you love me, keep my commandments. So that's gonna bring you know all that, all of that, being, being out here preaching the word to our, to the best of our abilities. You know, the ones that that can that have been called to do so. You know, and the other one, the, uh, the, 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 the listeners, man, the brothers and sisters that's out there, the, the believers, should we say, you know, doing everything they can to please Yahweh Hashim Al-Shad, turn away from this wicked world, as the epistle, as the doctrine calls for, man. You know, because, it, what's the scripture say? Put on as the elect, right? Turn away from this wicked world, knowing, you know, all the things that's about to happen out here, knowing what the scriptures say that, hey, no matter what, man, you have faith. Because just like in the days of Noah, they're being eating, drinking, and, and marrying, and giving in the marriage. So everything, you know, on the surface going to be looking like it might be okay. You're going to have people walking around talking about how much they hope and believe and, and trust in America to get back on its feet. You're going to have people running around getting damn married and shit, having parties and stuff. But hey, 
the ones that believe they're gonna be doing something totally different, man. They're gonna be they're gonna be staying standing steadfast in the truth. They begin walking around in fear of Yahweh by Shema Shah, you know. Begging for mercy the whole time and doing things to please Yahweh by Shema Shah. Come on, let's continue. It says, Oh no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law, right? For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So actually, you're going to be coming back to being an Israelite, not, not just saying that you're an Israelite, not just wearing the fringes, not just, uh, you know, thinking this, uh, you know, something about black, you know, overcoming whitey and all that shit. No. The Lord, the Lord say, how about Shema Shah say, vengeance is mine, you know. So right now, man, our meat is to do the will of how about Shema Shah. Well, while that truck was passing by, brought to mind another scripture right here. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Right, so now, when you when you when you undone, done got the understanding that you are the Israelites, if you really believe it, man. And now, Israel, what does your Habash Shai, thy God, require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, right? Man, and that's when you, you know, you're you become fully persuaded in your mind when you start to fear the Lord. You start to, you know, do things, change your ways because you fear the Lord. You know, you you understand, hey man, I better not do this, I better not do that. You know, I better, oh, shit, look at me. You, you're starting to examine yourself, man. You know, like we always say, you just don't, no kind of uh, guile shit or, or things come out your mouth, man. That's that's what's going on here. You know, you're worried about uh, every time you preach the doctrine, are you doing it, are you saying the right thing, man? That's why the Lord said meditate in the word. That's why you're supposed to uh, take heed to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the big brothers and everybody, you know, on down is preaching the word, teaching the word, so you can learn more. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you know, who are you? Who are you? You're nobody, man. You know? It says, And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, man, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, man. Because why? That's what, that's what, that's who we are. We are the children of Israel. And the Lord is preparing us for something greater. You know what I'm saying? All this, all this shit here, you see out here that everybody's scratching and clawing to, 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 to uh, try to build back up or try to save? That shit about to be destroyed, man. What did the Lord say? He that, he that uh, shall lose his life shall save it. He that save, try to save his life shall lose it, man. You know what I'm talking about? It says, to keep, verse 13, to keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good, man. For thy good. And I think it says the same thing in Joshua. That this is for thy good, man. For thy good. For thy good. You know? Let's get it. Yeah, same thing, pretty much. Night. Hi. Hi. This is the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law. This book of the what? The law, man. Because what? This, this is our heritage. This is who we are. Shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Right? And thou mayest observe to do according to all... That is written therein, right? So don't you listen to what them damn devils have taught you. That's what that's what it comes. That's what it means to be uh, coming back to you. How about Shema Shah wholeheartedly, man? You know, you can't fuck fuck everybody else and what everybody else say. We're coming back to the fullness and the understanding that we are the Israelites. That this 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 book is for us. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we at right now. And the thing works out so beautifully that, uh, you know, it, it works out so beautifully that. Is that this like a um, it's like a build up because we've we've grown from from back here to even now, man, and all the ones that that have not uh have not gotten the word and have not repented and have not started to subscribe to this truth, you know, they 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 they're not in their lot, man. But the Lord say, hey, he's gonna have mercy on whom he's gonna have mercy on, so. The 11th hour, you know, don't forget about the 11th hour, right? It says, And thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shall they have good success, right? Because the Lord works in mysterious ways, man. I, I've seen it, 
even this week where uh, either I I had a question about something pretty much yeah I think it happened twice this week or I thought of a stri- or I thought about something I was like I would like to know more about that and sure enough man just like cuz that's how it, that's how it always has been man you know if you have a question about something ask you how about she might shot for the answer man ask the lord for the answer and one of the brothers I'm sick, boy it, it never fails one of the brothers going to bring it out or you're going to stumble across a video that's going to bring it out night you know, it's beautiful, man. And that is the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, who's omnipotent, present. You know, he's he's the almighty brother. I'm Boy, man, hey, man. All praises to Yahweh Shema Shai again for, for bringing us into this truth, man. Let's, let's go back to the book of Romans uh, chapter 13 and continue on with that one. Romans chapter 13. Now, we just got through it, verse 9, where it's talking about the love of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, for this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So these chastisement, you know, these things that Yahweh Hashim al has, has ordered us to do, you know, um, when you begin, when you fear Yahweh Hashim al you're going you're gonna to take heed to these things. You're not going to try to, um, you know... Um, how do you say when you uh, bend bend the curves or bend the corners or or try to manipulate it to so you can actually add sin to sin like some? But we're not even we're not even gonna talk about about the because um, all Israel is not Israel, man. You know, and we we're beginning to understand that, and that's why it, uh, that's why it's been brought out now that there's a lot of false prophets and and they're coming and, and it's been made manifest. You know. You know, uh, and just saying it straight out, just, just the way it is, because you will not repent. You will not change. So therefore, you are a false prophet, man. Okay? But let's get to the point. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So that's why the scriptures say, rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the face. That's why the scriptures say to come out on the highways and hedges and uh, bid them to the marriage, you know, to warn the children of Israel, to cry out loud, you know. To give them warning for me, man, right? Because that's loving thy neighbor as thyself. Because, like, I, when I first heard God coming to the truth, man, I was pissed off at these motherfucking roughneck niggas running around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All these so-called older, older people, all these, all, all the gentlemen around here. And I ran around. I was like asking them, "Hey, man, did y'all, uh, did y'all hear that we were the Israelites? Did you hear that we were the Israelites?" They're like, "Yes, yes." I'm like, "Well, damn, why ain't nobody told me about it, man?" That shit pissed me the hell off. Because that means they don't love their neighbor the way they, they, they you know, the scriptures say. They don't love their self. They don't love you how about Shemel Shai. That's why I went nobody out here preaching the damn word. So like it, that's why nobody was out here preaching the word. But hey, well they called to preach the word. Well they standing in a lot. No. But hey. That brings me to a scripture right here. Let's go get it. This is the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 8. It says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am. Send me. You know? And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear you indeed, but understand not, and see you indeed, but perceive not. It goes right back to that, uh, what we was talking about, man. About that damn demon coming out of the damn grocery store, talking about all the goodies that she got. And... In the midst of all the vegetables and shit, she's talking about some damn uh, pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. You know what I'm saying? You hear and you see indeed, but you perceive and you understand not that Yahweh Hashem is about to come back here. You know what I'm saying? And the warning has been going out, and it's been going out, and it's been going out. Starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, way back in the day. All the way back from one west, man. You know what I'm saying? And now, it's come up to here, man. Let's go to the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. Right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's right. The Lord is saying, He's already bringing, He's proclaiming the word through the mouth of His prophets. Telling them He's going to destroy this wicked ass Babylon the Great. A.K.A. America. 
He said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said Yahweh Shema Shai. And the house of Jacob are the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Right? For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted through a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And all the sinners of my people, that's right, the sinners, the, the stiff-necked, damn so-called Negro Hispanics and Native American Indians, the ones that, that uh, run around here that still want to eat the crab, pork, pork, shrimp, and lobster, you know, that want to uh, follow after the ways of the heathen, that don't want to take heed, that don't even want to believe that they're the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? The ones that didn't want to come up and, and, and try to start preaching the word, but they knew that they were Israelites. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want no part of it. They want to continue on in their mother wickedness. The Lord said, all the sinners of my people shall die by this war. The ones that didn't want to have no love for his brothers, man. The ones that didn't want to return and start doing the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability, man. Start preaching the word and helping out the other brothers and uh, trying to seal the elect, man. Get ready for the return of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, the ones that wanted to turn their back on Yahweh Shema Shai and continue on in your stupidness. So look, we, we, we. So now, man, we, we, don't, we don't feel no way about it, man. Because we are on one accord with Yahweh Shema Shai because we know what must be done. You know? To cut out all this wickedness in the Israel. Y'all got to go. Y'all got to go, you wicked, you wicked Israelites, man. Your deeds have overpassed the, the deeds of the, of the wicked, man. Y'all done become more wicked than the damn wicked. Than Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, man. That's right. The Lord going to get y'all, man. And we can't, we can't wait for that day. And we're hoping and begging that we're going to have mercy in that day. But we, hey, we're still bringing it out. We're still going to bring it out. We're going to bring out 100% truth because the Lord has, has put this, gave us this understanding to do so. So even if, if we're not a part of those number, if we're not part of those men, we're going to do the best of our abilities. To do to please Yahweh Hashem Shah until he do return and still begging for mercy the whole way. And if it if it be his will that we be cut off, hey man, we done did what we could, we could what we could, man, you know. And we we uh we hated not our lives until the death. Either way. Shoot. Just get, get us away from these wicked people. That's fine with me, man. Let's get to the point. Back in the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law, man. It says, and that knowing the time, this is the point. Knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake, to awake out of sleep, right? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. That's right. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. Because why? All the prophecies are coming to pass. You know, all the prophecies are coming to pass. Everything is falling in place. This, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. Hey, y'all. Y'all know y'all the Israelites, right? Okay, they say they know. So look, that, that means, because they, they, what? What did we just read? And look, that's, uh... That was a scripture. That's okay, man. Let's get let's get this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-six, verse ten. No, that was a scripture because look, all they do, these Israelites, all they do is uh. They, they, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find that scripture, man. They teach their children in the ways of Esau, Edom, man. And it, it, the generations continue on, they continue on. They teach them to be whores, you know. And that's what they do, man. They, cause none call us for justice. You know, they all here marching and shit, talking about some. Like I, I stumbled across a, a video uh, just before I came down here, man. I, I think uh, one of the brothers' video had just finished, and you know how they pop up another video. And it just so happened it was uh, this Black Lives Matter shit. And uh, 
you know, they out there talking about, and I'm just shaking my head, man. Because the, the elders, apostles, great millstone, and all the other brothers on down, out here bringing out this 100% truth. But that's what, what, right back to standing thy lot. Everyone is now is standing in their lots. All the false prophets, you know, all the wicked Israelites. And that goes to that scripture in Revelation. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, man. Because the Lord's going to have mercy on who he's going to have mercy on. Because they, they still refuse to hearken to the words of Yahweh Shema Shai. When the Lord said he's going to come back and he's going to put these wicked people under subjection. But they want to stand out there and beg them uh, for mercy like they've been doing for all these damn years and shit. Continue doing the same shit. Just like you see them, them, them girls down there teaching their daughters how to dress, dress with them damn fucking tight ass pants on and shit. When the scriptures say women shouldn't be wearing pants, they should be wearing a damn dress. And niggas shouldn't be wearing damn dresses. They should be wearing pants. But no, they want to follow up, up on the, uh, Babylon the Great, Esau, Edom, with all their witchcraft and all their deception and all their lies. But they refuse to hearken to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So look, that's why it brings us to light. When the scriptures say all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil should not prevent or overtake us, man. Because we have repented, man. We made our bodies a living sacrifice. I'm talking too much, right? I'm talking too much. Okay, look. Let's go to the book of, uh, one more time, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, right? And that's a, that's a, that's a thing right there that lets you know that these words are faithful and true, right? I mean, it let us know anyway. The Lord said, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, the things that are not yet done, right? That's why uh, we open up with Daniel. Go thy way, Daniel. You know, stand in their lot to the time of the end. Because all these things are happening, you know, step by step, just the way the Lord has, has ordained. It says, declaring the end from the beginning. So he already declared all these things from the end. So like it from the beginning to the end, man. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So all these things are of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? See, look, let's, let's jump over to uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 16. It says, they shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go into confusion together that are makers of idols. And these people make, make things out of idols. This, this, this young lady over here, she, she got idols. She come out here. Once again, asking for asking for money, so she can so she can go and serve her idol, worship her idol, man, which is not Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You know what I'm saying? Just like these people continuing on uh, worshiping Babylon the Great and all the things that they put forth, all this wickedness that they they love it, man. You know, wearing fucking unks around their neck and shit, thinking they somebody. But the truth is right here in front of your face. The Lord's telling us the, the reason why we went into in the transatlantic slave trade and everything like that. Now is the time for us to repent. The doors of mercy are open. The, the gates of mercy are open. The doors of repentance are open, man. For the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. But they don't want to hear that. They don't want to say, oh, shoot. Let, well, let me, let me at least try and beg the Lord and wait patiently and see what will happen. You know? No. No. These damn church, but hey, once again, that's the, that, you know, what the Lord say, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right. Because he's the one that set up all this, all these, all these dramatics into, into play. You know what I'm saying? But we all know that Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. OK, you should not be ashamed nor confound the world without end. So all of Israel ultimately is going to be OK, man. We just have to go through this. And that's why we don't get all choked up choked up no more about these wicked Israelites because we know that that's their lot. And we know that these things must happen. And we're grateful to Yahweh Shem for opening up our eyes. You know, and we're we're doing our very best, man, to come back and stand steadfast in the truth and, 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 and to do the things that he had proclaimed us to do, man. With all the laws, the statute commandments to the best of our abilities and just be the Israelites that we're supposed to be, that we were ordained to be in, in the beginning, man. So back in uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And then knowing the time, that now is high time to wake out of sleep. 
For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. The night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light, man. And all these words, for them to be coming out right now, for them to be proclaimed by you and me, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? For them to be understood by you and me at this particular time, knowing that this is the time of the end. You know, and for us to understand these words, but we understand that the rest are blinded. Man, this is big business. All praises to Yahweh by Shimei on Shai, man. For us to come out here and not be ashamed of the Lord and proclaim his mighty works. You know, hey, man. Woo! You know, do you know? The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, man. That's why. Make that. Let's get it. Right over here. The book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shema Shai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, man. Look, at look, look. Watch the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Them brothers have been putting it down 30 years plus. Killing it. Making that body a living sacrifice, man. Huh? When we come back to you, how about Shema Shai and submit ourselves wholeheartedly to the Lord? We understand, you know, hey, this is where we're supposed to be. This is our lot, man. You know what I'm saying? The washing of the word, the cleansing, you know. There's no there's no other way to be. This is life. Yeah, about Shema Sha say, I come back so they can have, have have life and have it more abundantly, right? This is the beginning. This is just the beginning, man. Because we're we done turned away from this, this wicked world right here. You know, and everything looks totally different now. Everything feels different. You know? Because we're 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 not looking back no more. Now we're looking forward. We're reaching forward to that to the, these new heavens and new earth that's promised to us. You know. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shem El Shai, by the mercies of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. That means separate. That means pure, man. Fuck this shit. Fuck all this shit. What the what the what the Messiah say? He said, those that do the will of my, my mother, those that do the will of my father, the same is my brother, my sister, and my mother, man. Why? Because what? They're holy. They're not more entangled with the with the with the worries of this world. They're not doing things. So they come back to Yahweh Shema Shai. It says acceptable, acceptable. Until you have Hashem Shai, which is your reasonable service. That's your reasonable service. It's your reasonable service, man. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what that is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. We're gonna prove. We're gonna have to prove it in this hour of temptation. And the Lord is building us up to this thing right now, man. He's getting us ready for all these things. You know. By keeping us holy, keeping us separate, getting our minds washed, and having that 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 faith and that understanding to know that hey, this is all this fuck all this shit. You know, we hated our lives unto the death, huh? Let's get out of here, one way or the other. We might we, if we're gonna be martyred, we're gonna be martyred. But you know, if the Lord gonna get us, and and He says some of us will not taste death, but either way, we want to get out of here. Because we believe in the promise that Yahweh Hashem is going to come back, man. And he's making it ever so clear. Yeah. Every day, man. Every day, there's, there's something new that comes out that, that brings you closer to the truth, man. Closer to Yahweh Hashem Shah. Right, let's go back to, to Romans chapter 13, verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, man. Not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Right, so like even now, it's still moving forward, man. All this understanding, all this faith, all this belief is getting stronger and stronger and better, right? That's why uh, the, the, uh, 
there's a, that, 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 the, the point is going to be, you know, after a while, that you, uh, uh, when, it, when it comes to the, all the false prophets and the non-believers, not going to bother us no more. Just like uh, my big brother GMS Walk and Talk said it. Did he say that today or was it last night? He was just saying, uh, and it's true, man. That, and, and, you know, I think the apostles brought it out last week. After a while, man, you just know hey, everybody's got their role to play, their lot to play, and that's just the way it is. You know your family members. You you know a hey, like I didn't I didn't even say what I didn't even say nothing this time. But I know you way over there, and I'm way over here. You know I don't Yahweh Shai allowed. You know he got that out, out of my face. I don't have to see you doing that wickedness. You know. I don't have to fight and, and have a confrontation with you about you teaching teaching it to the children and shit. You know? Because, hey, Babylon the Great, you are of your father the devil. And of your father you will do, man. So, hey, Yahweh, all praises to Yahweh Shema Shah because the Lord took that out. He took that away. He took that away from me, man. And I saw that, man. These are tokens. These are miracles, man. I believe in Yahweh about Shema Shah, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? We do. We believe in Yahweh about Shema Shah. That's why we're all right here in this wise council, as Mystery, Mysteries of the Kingdom would put it, man. That we are, that's why we out here preaching the word, man. That's why we listen to the epistles throughout the week. You know? That's why we put off the old man. That's why we seek Yahweh about Shema Shah's face daily. That's why we turn back to the law, statute, commandments to the best of our abilities, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we do these things, because we believe, we actually believe we have faith in the Lord, man. You know? It says, verse, so this is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 13. Let us walk honestly in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, you know? Not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put, ye, put on the Lord, Yahweh Shai. And make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And that goes that goes out to that brother, man. I know I brought it up like two or three times, but you know, I'm sure he's gonna get his answer, brothers and sisters. He was asking how can you overcome the flesh? Right here, look at this scripture right here. This is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 14. Put but put ye on Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah. You know, because the scriptures say. Uh, you know, you'll be washed with the with the washing of the word. You're gonna be clean, right? And the Lord said you're gonna He's gonna be in you and you in Him. So once once you continue on to to eat this, you eat the whole roll, man. You start getting baptized with the word. You repent. Well, of course, first you repent. Of course, you know. You start to believe. You start to watch the videos of Elder Apostle Great Millstone. It's not gonna happen overnight, but it will if you continue on in the faith, man. Believing, striving, contending. Right? It says, But put on, put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shema Shai, which is the word, and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. That's right, so slowly Yahweh Shema Shai is going to bring you out. Going to bring you out of this, out of all that wickedness, man. Yes! Or he might do it all at once, I don't know. Every, everybody's got their lot, brothers and sisters. I know you got a living testimony over here, man. And uh, the, of, of course, the Lord say, hey, we're not, we're not out here by ourselves. All the brothers went through all these things. We're all just filthy rags. And I wrote down a scripture uh, that, that spoke about that. It was in the book of, was it Daniel's? Let's see if we can find it real quick. The brothers just brought it up. Good night, y'all. Mm.
Mm-mm. Oh, brothers, I, I can't, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to linger trying to find that scripture. Okay, well, let's let's bring this one out right here. Let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 9. To the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his ways, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets, right? Yea, all Israel have transgressed by, by thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curses is, is poured upon us. All praise to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. We found it, man. Yeah, man. Therefore, the curses are poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, because we have sinned against him. And that, uh, my big brothers brought them out just uh, just just today at their camp, man. That's that's where I got it from. All praise to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Because that, well, that's what it means. You know, we all done transgressed and been, you know, just terrible, man. And Yahweh Hashem Hashem, in these last days, you know, the promise that he made to Abraham, to Abraham, man, that we, we you know, he's going to come back and uh, redeem the children of Israel. And that is happening right now, man. The Lord is setting us in order before their eyes, man. Because we're all just filthy rags out here, man. And the gates of mercy are open. The Lord has chosen us to, to uh, return. And like like I said, I think I made a, a epistle this week about, you know, uh, blessed are our eyes to see. I know I, I reposted that one. But the other epistles too, because these are also tokens that we see these other camps going off. They're off doctrine. And they're just not doing, man. They're just not, you know. But the Lord has blessed us to see. That's why, how, you know what I'm saying, who else is rebuking? Who else is rebuking other people out here? The elders, starting with the elders, apostles, great millstone, and all the other brothers on down with what? This 100% doctrine. Everybody else just sitting around, allowing this camp to say this bullshit out their mouth. That one over there can talk about that. Or they can, you know, but they still want to have a, a damn unity camp. Huh? Come on, brothers and sisters. All praises to you. How about Shema Shah, right? Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 1. Yeah, man, because this is, uh, you know, it's just, it's just about that time. Because the warning's been coming out, the warning's been coming out. So, hey, it's time. You know, the sentence has been going out. The sentence has been going out, just like in a courtroom. You know, pretty soon, it's going to be time for judgment. Straight up. And the uh, evil E doesn't declare what he's about to do to the children of Israel, man. With the crown royal. You know, this mandatory crown royal. The mandatory RFID chip right, right behind that. But you still got people out here running around here doing whatever the hell they want and not taking heed, man. Hey, and when when the uh, when the famine of the world comes up, comes on us, woo-wee! And we just gonna be out here, man, praying and watching, watching and praying, man, hoping that Yahweh by Shema shall have mercy on us. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse one. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempted and desired him that, that he would show them a sign from heaven. And he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather to, today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can ye not discern the sign of the times? 
and a wicked and adulterous generation seek it after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto thee for the sign of the prophet Jonas. And that sign is right here, right in the face. Yahweh Shemashah said, I will set them in order before your eyes, man. And we're coming out, we return. You know, this thing won't, uh oh. Hold on, brothers and sisters. You know, I gotta, hold on, I gotta burn this thing. Yeah, sorry about that, brothers and sisters. I just had to, because if I don't, that, that fringe is gonna get, gonna start unraveling and it's gonna mess up the whole thing, man. It's gonna be all over the place, like a whole ball of yarn. But yeah, man. The Lord say, uh, He said, "When is it? When is evening?" Ye say it will be fair, fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning. It will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the sign of the times. And we're living in those times, man. You know? But look, just like the scriptures say. Just like the scriptures say. Make the heart, make the eyes of these people flat. We're going to get that again. In the book of Isaiah chapter 6 and 8. Because he's the one that opened up the eyes. You know, he's the one that opened the door. He's the one that let you see and let you understand, you know, um, what's going on. If it be your lot, man. You know, simple as that. And the ones that repented, he granted them return. If you really uh, come, you know. The scriptures say, who knows what the Lord would do if he would repent. Because he said he will have mercy on whom he was going to have mercy on, you know. But no, you see all these wars and rumors of wars. You see the prophet standing out here. But do you believe that man? What does that scripture say in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 16? Take heed unto thyself and in the doctrine. And by doing so you will save you yourself and them that hear thee. Because what? They also gonna take heed. They also gonna start to fear Yahweh by Shema Shah. They also gonna start changing and listening to the elders, apostles, of great millstone with the hundred percent truth and being baptized with the word and believing in the in the gospel. And the, and the scriptures say, uh, uh, them that them uh, all them that believe is not condemned, but them that believe not is condemned already, man. So as simple as that. You either believe in the word or not, because what? These words are going to be the uh, wisdom and the stability of that time. So it's all it all equals and all goes so nicely and hand in hand together. Brothers brought it out today, you know, because of this because of this doctrine, people ain't gonna be bugging out so much because of this doctrine. People ain't gonna be running up to Esau Edom. Hey, yeah, 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 right there, right there. You know what I'm saying? No, they're gonna be like, whoa, 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 Jack. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 Jack. They're going to be praying to Yahweh Hashem HaShah to keep them away from that day of evil. To protect them in that day of evil. To be their shield and buckler in that day of evil. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. It says, well let's start, let's go to, oh man, oh no man, we got to, hey. We gotta come all the way. We gotta come all the way back, man. I, man, ooh -wee. Let's go to the book of First Peter, chapter five, verse five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Ye all of your of you be subject one to another and be clothed in humility. Okay, and that's what it's all about because the Lord has uh, gave us teachers according to His own heart, man. You know, all the big brothers and elders that I'm putting in work, brothers and sisters, man. Shit, man. 
freaking damn dumb ass niggas around here. Think they somebody. Don't know nothing, man. And don't have no fear of the Lord because the Lord take poop. Take that candle away from you just like that, man. Take your understanding. Take away the Holy Spirit just like that. Because you don't run around here uh, being all puffed up and talking shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not even about that. The Lord's about to bring some serious hell down on this place. You hear me? Boy, this is the time for us to be uh, uh, just begging for mercy and doing, you know, doing everything we can to the best of our abilities to please Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. A brother brought it out today. Who said? Somebody said that that it, you know, and and they they said all the time. It's not about all the, I mean, the precepts you got. Do you believe in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai? Do you have faith in the Lord? Have you repented fully? Have you really changed wholeheartedly? You know. Oh no, it's doing it now. Are you fully persuaded in your mind? Okay, that's the bottom line. Come on, let's go back to the first Peter chapter five, verse five. Likewise, ye elders, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. Man, I remember putting a nigga out of my car. I had tried to give him a ride from way up the street. You know, we're getting down here. I'm listening to uh at the time, I was—I will never—I won't forget it, man. I was listening to Shalom 777, and he was bringing out a nice epistle, man. And this damn dude, damn talking the whole way down the street, and you know, I got—we got, got kind of close to town, and I just couldn't handle it no more. I said, "Listen, man," I said, "Look, if you don't mind, I'm trying to listen to the to the to the brother bringing out this epistle." What are you talking about? Uh, I don't need to listen to no man or some shit like that. I said, man, get the, get the hell out of this car. And I never, I ain't never picked that nigga up again. You know why? Hey, hey, listen, man. Uh-uh. This is it. We're done, man. Yes, be peaceable among all men. That don't mean I have to, no. Can two walk together unless they be agreed, man. All these things are really coming in and coming in now. And we're learning as we go, man. We're learning more and more, you know, through the Spirit. We're all being chastised. We're all, you know, walking in faith and learning as we go. You know, don't be unequally yoked together. How many times am I going to continue on Talk. Obviously, the dude don't care nothing about the scriptures, but I do. So, therefore, I want get away from me, man. You and your damn demons. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious, brothers. Like, 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 like that, like that, like that woman there. Just come by, just walk by again. This time, she finally went up there, just like I told her, like two or three weeks ago. Go over there and ask them people for some money, because it don't make sense for you to keep coming up here. Uh, uh what they call what they call it when when you scoping somebody out or something always just just waiting land and wait for them and stuff that that's just not cool man i can see you know if um if you know it just so happens you see me in passing and you yeah, hey man you guys you got something don't just be coming up you know every every week here we go here you come now uh, uh man come on man you, you're just going too far with it man let's get this scripture First Peter chapter five verse five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the older. Ye all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh Shema Shai resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Man, you got to be humble. You know, it's not about being, and it's not about you know I know something, and you you people don't know nothing. It's not about that neither, really. They just don't. We come to the understanding that that's not. It's not their lot, man. You can't beat them over the head and make them get it. You can't uh, get mad at them because they want to continue to eat crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster. Just know, hey, it's their lot to be destroyed because they will not repent unless the Lord put the Spirit on them to repent before that time, man. But ain't nothing you can do. You can't go against Yahweh Shema Shah. That's why you got It's bitter and sweet. The scriptures, man. It's bitter and sweet, and it's so nice, man. Blessed are your eyes to see. It's so nice. You know your Israelite brother? You heard about the Israelites? Yeah, did you hear the, the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the Israelites? You never heard that in the Bible? We are the chosen people of the Lord. You never hear that? You believe in the Bible? You might want to take a heed, man. This is the, this is the real deal right here. This is the hundred percent truth. Up in the ch all the churches, they have lied to us, man. They lied to us about the Messiah, 
about who we are. Uh, they lied to us about the scriptures. You know, uh, the so-called Jesus. 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 Okay. He's in the scriptures. Wait, wait, wait. Look, we got a minute. You speak Spanish, right? You poquito English. Let's see if we can look. Let's see if we can find it. Let me. See, hey, brothers, I'm gonna try to set him up real quick, just in case. Uh, just in case. Just in case, man, because we're out here to warn the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, okay? Because the Lord is about to come back and He's about to destroy all this stuff. He's about to. He's coming back to judge this wicked place. This place is wicked, right? And the Scripture, the Bible, talks about this. It talks about the devil coming down to deceive the children of Israel and the world. But everybody's waiting on the devil to come. Where's he at? Where's he at? He's already done it. Okay? I'm going to show you something real quick. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Let me see if this has come up for the brother. Okay. Okay, I'm, I, so I let him, uh, I put it on uh, GMS uh, Spanish, and then uh, some channels come up with the brothers preaching. And uh, because, you know, just to make it clear, understanding, man, because this is serious, I can't, you know, there's a, uh, when there's a, uh, a language barrier, for him to get the full understanding of it, it's, it's better for him to listen to it in his own, in his own tongue, you know what I'm saying? And then what, what we always say, if you if you if you if you can understand the words and you can hear it, if your eyes are open, then you would take heed, you know, and subscribe to that channel. And that's all. All it is is what's that? Playing that one seed, man, to the children of Israel. That's why we're coming out here to warn the children of Israel, brothers and sisters. Yeah, because this is some serious business. So we're gonna continue on. So we are, uh, oh, I think the page turned. Okay, okay, so, so I can. So the scripture tell us, uh, in, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shema Shai, that he may exalt you in due time, right? And that's what we're doing now, man. We humbling ourselves because we're submitting ourselves. Night. Right. We humbling ourselves, you know. You like it? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. It's good? Well, well, get it on your own phone. Huh? Get it on your own phone. You got the... Uh... Yeah. Okay, now look. Okay, so Jesus got a long hair, right? He's a white man, right? This is the book of Revelations.
chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So he had woolly hair like mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, he had an afro. But it's white. Afro, yeah. As white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire because he liked to drink of the little wine. Okay? His feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in the furnace. The Messiah looked like me. He looked like us. Yeah. He's brown skin. He's not no... He's not no white man. See? Yeah, yeah. That's the people that did that. They lie. The devil. Uh, in the church. All the all the churches are liars. Mm -hmm. This is the 100% truth. The words. Yeah. The words. Not the traditions of men. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So when the Lord said come back. He said will he find faith on the earth? Faith. When you believe in the words. Not what people say. Not what these churches say. They lie. Because the Lord keeps telling. What did the Lord say? I only come back for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? I only come back for the house of Israel. I was only sent for the sheep of the house of Israel. These lying ass churches. No, it's everybody. It's everybody. It, the Lord never said that. It's only for the children of Israel. Me, you, and the Native American Indians. Okay? See, listen to the brothers. You'll see. Okay? Okay, brother. Okay, man. I go to my home. I die. See, of course. I'll see you later. I just want to put, put the seed in there, man. Yes, I. All praise it to you. How about Shema Shai? So yeah, man, that's what that's what it's all about, brothers and sisters. So you know, the spirit was on me. I don't know. It wasn't me, but the spirit was on me to that just ask the dude because I see my big brother doing it because people think they the people think that we're just out here preaching the same bullshit lies that these churches been preaching. I guess, but it's up. But what did the Lord say through the foolishness of preaching? You know, but let's continue on. This is First Peter, uh, chapter five, verse six. It says, "Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shem El Shai, that me that He may exalt you in due time, man." So right now, we're a base. Right now, we're at the bottom of society, but it's the Lord that's going to exalt us in, two, in due time. You know. Also, this goes to uh, in our day to day lives. Sometimes, sometimes we we down in the spirit, man. But that's for a reason, man, because you can't be up all the time. Sometimes you got to be down low. You might see things a little different or think about things in, in a different way because you, you're, you're moving a little slower. You know, you might, you know, not be so quick to, to answer. So something else will happen. And all kind of, hey, man, it's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem al you know, at the end of the day. It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Hashem al that he may exalt you in due time. And uh, I remember, man, not not too long ago, that 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 scripture right there um, became more manifest in my in my day to day, you know, in my life, man. And uh, because in in the walk, you know, in the walk, uh, and and you know how we grow grow, you know, and learn more. I just found myself like I wasn't I had. Fully committed to to Yahweh Shem El Shai, man. I, I guess that, that's the best I can say. That's the best way I can put it. You know, because there's levels to it, man. And then, and then uh, it just happened, man. And I was like, I was like, I can't do this no more, man. And I said, I, I prayed to Yahweh Shem El Shai. I said, I can't do it. I can't, and I can't. I just feel like I'm always afraid. You know, am I am I good enough? Am I doing? Am I doing things to the best of my ability to please y'all by Shema Shai? And I was afraid, man. I was scared, man. I was always like, shit, I done fucked up again, you know? And it, it was things that I'm like, shit, but I should be able to, to, to not do that, you know? And I kept praying. I said, Lord, please help me, you know, help me. Because I didn't want to, I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to be no hypocrite. Because all the scriptures, and the scriptures talk about that the hypocrites are the liars, the, 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 uh, all, you know, it tells you who will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. Those are all the things that I did not want to do because I want to make it. You hear me? Shit. So look. Yeah, how about she and I work, work there, work a marvelous work, man. And the uh, and this and this scripture did it, man. It came, it came. It says, "Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Hashem that He may exalt you in due time." And I just, I just said, you know what, man, that's it. And I prayed, and I, and I just did it. I just tried my absolute best 
And the Lord put the spirit on me to not, to now, you know, look at how these people just driving all kind of weird, crazy, not not caring about the, the people behind them. That was, a, that was a wrong turn he just did, man. But whatever, I don't care, you know. I don't care. Why? Because all these things are about to be dissolved, man. All praise to Yahweh Shemasha. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shemasha, that he may exalt you in due time, man. So, whatever you got going on, man, cast all your words and fears on Yahweh Shemasha. Continue to pray. You know what the scriptures say. You know what the scriptures say. They will not make it into the kingdom of heaven. Let's, you wanna, let's go find it. Where's the scripture at? There's one right here. Yeah, back way back in the book of Revelations, chapter 21, verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, right? And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall not inherit not that Salaki shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Right, and we don't want no part of the second death, brothers and sisters. Let me read it one more time. Because the scripture specifically tells you what to do and what, what you can what you can do, what you can't do, and what you should do if you want to live. Hey, good night, y'all. Y'all know we, we the Israelites, right? Okay, okay. You see? But that's, that's exactly what we was talking about. Because a lot of people know, but are they do? You know what I'm saying? It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, right? So, hey man, what does scripture say about being fearful? It says, I'm putting, I'm putting up my glasses like I'm finished reading. I don't know why I do that. The scripture say, uh, it says, fear he said, don't fear the ones that can that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy the body and the soul, man. In hell, right? So, hey, you better do what you have about Shema Shah has say. And that's when you get the understanding that, hey, that's when you get the understanding that all these things are of you, how about Shema Shah. He's in the control of all these things. So, if the Lord be with us, who can be against us, man? Because the Lord created all these things. When you start to get into the understanding that the, he knows how many hairs you have on your head. You know, uh, when you start to get to the understanding of uh, how he raised up Pharaoh so he could bring him down. When you start to get to the belief and understanding that um, he declared the end from the beginning. You know, it's like, ooh. You know, things start to... You know, your whole idea and perspective start to change about who you are, who you how about Shema Shai is, who all these other people are. You know, um, we're still in the flesh, so there's a lot. There's a lot of things that has to happen, but that's all still through the spirit and the power of Yahweh about Shema Shai. But what did he say? In verse 7, he that overcometh, okay? So you got to actually just pray for. Pray to Yahweh Hashem Hashem to put your spirit on you to overcome these things, man. To lead you not into temptation. To help you uh, to, to overcome these things. So you will not take part in that lake of fire. He said, He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. But the fearful, right? So hey, don't be afraid, man. Even they hated their lives even unto the death. You know what I'm saying? And the unbelieving. The unbelieving, that's a big one. Because wait, when you believe, you know, you start you will fear your how about Shima Shai because you're gonna know all the terrible things that he will do to your ass if you don't get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you coming out here being a false prophet and stuff, you will believe that your ass it will be grass if you don't straighten up your shit, repent. You know what I'm saying? If you don't come out here and warn the people, if you you know. The unbeliever. If you don't come out here and uh, what declare you how about Hashem al Shai? If you if you're not ashamed of the word, you know. If you're not ashamed of the Lord, you know. 
and the abominable. Boy, because what? The Lord said, if you, if you break one of these least commandments, you're breaking them all anyway. But then it goes to breaking it down, man. The abominable. You don't want to do anything that the Lord hates. You hear me? You don't want to defile the temple. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be abominable, man. And murderers. Goodness gracious, you don't want to be that. And whoremongers. And sorcerers. And idolaters. And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is a second death. So we don't want no part of all that stuff, man. Mm -mm. Let's go back. Let's go back to um, 1 Peter chapter 5. We're going to do 6 again. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shemashah, that he may exalt you in due time, man. So that's what we're waiting on now. We're waiting to be exalted. And we don't humble ourselves, you know, because we we don't humble ourselves. We're not trying to make make a name for ourselves. We're not trying to uh, have any fucking part of this nasty-ass, wicked-ass place. We believe in the Lord. So therefore, we speak. Therefore, we uh, make ourselves a living sacrifice. You know, we don't we don't care about making it big. We see, we believe in the prophecies. We see this place being torn down. You know, man, wow, man. It says, casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. You know, so we understand that Yahweh Shema Shai has given us the promise that He's going to exalt us in due time. So we we cast all our worries and cares upon Him, man. All these things that they try to uh, make us afraid about. You you afraid of the crown royal? Huh? You afraid of catching it? But the Lord said he's the one that killeth and make it alive. He's the, he said he's the one that wounds and heals. So what? You better be afraid of him. So you cast cast that words and care on him. Then pray that me. Please protect me. How about Shema Shah? Because we understand we believe that the Lord is the one that uh, has brought all these plagues upon us. And then we start to understand and believe that hey, he said he making all these plagues and things. For the wicked, for the ones that don't want to believe, the ones that don't want to repent. The sin, all the sinners of my people will die by the sword. They say the evil will not prevent or overtake us, man. All of these motherfucking ass, nasty ass niggas out here. These damn, hey, but hey, there we go again. So you got to calm it down and understand that this is their lot. You got to understand that, hey. Say, the water to you, how about Shema Shah, for opening up our eyes so we can see this, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me drink a little water, brothers and sisters. Oh, and by the way, Shabbat Shalom. That's right. So when this, when the sun went down tonight on this uh, eleven twenty one, when the when the when the sun went down and began the Sabbath day, and the Sabbath day is going to end tomorrow at Sunday evening when the sun. Goes down again. You know? So, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you, man. The Lord, it, the, the, and you know, that's something about that scripture right there. That it says that the Lord actually cares for us. You know, just like uh, in the book of 1 Malachi. I have loved you, said Yahweh Hashem Asha. The children of Israel saying, "What? Wait! Look at all these things you done did to us." But hey, we understand now. Let's, hey, sp spoil. Uh, what's this? Is it spare the rod, spoil the child? Yeah, man. So hey, and all praise to Yahweh Hashem Asha because he, he he allowed me to have some kids so I could really get a full understanding of what it means to uh, you know have a child and. Uh, Make sure that you try to train them correctly and what it takes to actually do that. You know, the tough love, so to speak. You know? It says, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. And uh, that reminds me of the scripture uh, about, you know, even if a wicked father and his child ask him, ask him for some bread or a fish, will he give him a rock? He said, no. The Lord said, no. So how much more your heavenly father, you know, and that's, and that's it's beautiful brothers and sisters. It's uh, verse eight. It says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. 
And so the Lord, the, the devil is going to be trying to come out here with all manner of wickedness. You know, continuing on with their witchcraft, continuing on with their lies, continuing on with their uh, false doctrines and false religions and damn uh, all these books and shit to mislead the children of Israel, man. But this is the time for us to wake up. Our time out of sleep, man. To wake up out of sleep. Come back to the fullness of the understanding of the scriptures to know that we are the Lord's chosen people, man. Period, point blank. And this is the time uh, where the gates of mercy are open to give us time to repent to the one true living God to get ourselves together, man. To start uh, begging the Lord for mercy. To start getting uh, the seeking his face. To building a relationship with Yahweh Hashim HaShai. So in those times of trouble that's com coming up, the Lord's going to know and, and he's going to hear our prayers, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, who resisted steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But, but, Yahweh Shema Shai, the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai. After that, ye have suffered a while. Make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Okay? To him be glory and a dominion forever and ever. Amen. That's right, because after a while, you know, the Lord, just like I was uh, proclaiming, man. What, is he, what did he do? Live, hey, testimony right over here, brothers and sisters. He said, After that, ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you, man. Make you perfect in this understanding of the truth, man. Huh? Strengthen us in the truth. Give us this, this, this level of faith. You know, so we can uh, withstand all the fiery darts of the wicked ones, man. And the incredulity of those non-believers out here, man. And, we, and it settled us. Why? Because wisdom and knowledge will be the strength of thy stability. Right? Wisdom and knowledge will be the strength of thy stability, man. Right? Yeah. You're going to be settled, man. With all hell breaking loose. All hell breaking loose. And we're hoping and praying for that day to come, man, so we can get the hell out of here. Let's jump over to the book of uh, that's Second Peter, chapter three, verse eight. It says, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Yahweh Shemasha is a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, okay? As some men count slackness, but it's long suffering." To us work, not willing that any should perish, but that but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works there are that there are therein shall be burned up, man. Right? We're talking about the end of the world that's coming up upon the earth very shortly, man. And we're hoping and praying for this thing to happen sooner than later, man, so we can get out of here. So we don't have to be looking at these wicked-ass Israelites, these so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, go on and, uh, and, 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 and do whatever the hell they want, and not taking heed to the words of Yahweh about Shema Shai, they're not repenting. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to see them no more, man. It says, Sin then, that all these things shall be dissolved. So we are in the book of uh, 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 11. Sin then, that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy, in all holy conversations and godliness, man? Is that looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. See, because 
it takes it takes faith. That's why uh, the scripture talking about all the non-believers. You know, they're gonna die because we're we're hastening this day of uh, that the Lord is talking about right here. We're hastening this day of this nuclear uh, with a uh, World War Three. And uh, when the nuclear missiles will be sh shot over to uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. We're, we're praying and hoping for that day to come. Why? Because we have faith in Yahweh Hashem HaShem, man. We have faith that the Lord, you know, that we're hoping to be a part of that number, the 144 hopefully leg. We are, man. Because why? We understand that there's no other, that, there ain't nothing else for us, man, but to believe in this word. There ain't nothing else for us out here but to believe in this word, believe in your Yahweh Hashem And that's the level of faith that the Lord has given us, man. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful, brother. It, it, it feels so good to not be uh, wrapped up in that niggerism no more. To wrap, be wrapped up in that hopelessness no more and all that fear. That's why the scriptures say, cast all your, your cares and worries upon him, man, because he cares for us. These words, are, these very words are faithful and true. These words are so beautiful. Uh, to, to allow us to let us know who the devil, who the damn devil is, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, with all that motherfucking bullshit and the lies that they done pushed on the children of Israel all these years, and they still got these dumbass niggas coming out here talking about they want to vote. Something like something else gonna happen, but the Lord has given us the answer right here to let us know that He's coming back to redeem His people. You know, all these lies that these these uh, crackers uh, done put forth on us. Trying to uh, tell us that we're not the Lord's chosen people. Now the Lord has opened up our eyes as prophecies say that he's going to come back and redeem his people. What? He said, go not, go not in the way of the Gentiles, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. But no, these lying ass churches talking about some, no, he said everybody. Man, get out of here with that. The, the jig is up. Come on, let's read verse 11 one more time. It says, and then we're going to wrap it up, okay? It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. And this is one of my favorite scriptures. You know? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness? What manner of persons are you to be? We're, we're to be the Israelites, man. We, we, all we talk about, all we think about, all we wonder about is the truth, man. Because we, we have made ourselves a living sacrifice. We've turned away from this wicked world. It's a lucky about my nose, man. It just I told you sometime it'd be doing that. It says, looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem HaShem. That's right. We're looking forward and hastening that day. Please get us up out of here. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat man that's how hot it is and you know what when i read that i keep thinking about this brother's dream that he had man i'm that he made that epistle almost a year ago a year and a half ago i don't know it's been so long but he was telling i think he's from that uh, mysteries of the kingdoms camp but he said that they were all there they had all kind of like got away from town from the city and they were in now there was two there was two different dreams from two different people so I don't want I don't want to blend them together but they kind of almost are very similar he said they were away from the city but they could still see the city way off in the distance and uh, he said that they saw a nuclear war warhead come and it, and it, and it hit the city because remember they uh Babylon's going to be shot with 200 million missiles, you know, from all these other nations. So the, the, the missiles are not going to be like the big ones like we thought, like we always thought. They're going to be smaller ones. So it's going to be a lot of small missiles. So, you know, one could hit somewhere here and take out, I don't know how, I don't know how much, um, how much of an area they can take out. But, you know, so people are going to be not immediately destroyed but the but the heat and that's what the scriptures are talking about the heat and that's what the brother was talking about in the dream he said uh, you could it immediately got hot there was another brother's dream that he said the their shoes were melting melting under their feet that's how hot it was getting uh you know and the tire car tires uh and but the but the warhead was shot was uh hit 
like miles, miles, miles away, but they could see the mushroom and stuff, but the heat come, you know? So look, see, uh, looking for and hastening until the coming of the day wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, you know, what does what does what does the say? You know, all that's going to be happening, but nevertheless, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Never forget all that, all, all that stuff that's happening. You know, because look, we understand that's going to happen, and we are hastening that day. But because in our mind and our hope that we're part of the number that will be redeemed out of this place. We're looking for new heavens and new earth. We, you know, all that, hey, all that going on, but hey, we, we got our minds single and hopefully to be a part of that 144, hopefully later. Like one third of Israel. No, I'm talking about brothers and sisters. It says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless, brothers and sisters. And that's what it's all about. That's what, that's why you have about Shema Shah said, make your bodies a living sacrifice. That's why he said, turn away from this wicked world. He said, that's why the scripture said, come out of our my people. Uh, you know, and, and get your mind right. Be more spiritual than carnal. Uh, hey, man, it's a perfect blueprint to how Yahweh Shema Shah want us to come back and believe in him, man. Believe in him. And therefore, if it, when, when you believe in Yahweh Shema Shah, you're naturally going to start doing things. You're naturally going to start fearing the Lord. You're naturally going to start uh, 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 meditating the word that night. You're going to start becoming a, 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 a permanent fixture in the gospel, in the gospel of peace, which, which your brethren. The 144, hopefully like the one-third of Israel. The same ones that's been doers of the word and not hearers only. The same ones that's meditating the word. The same ones that's bringing it out daily. And those are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and the other brothers on down with the same doctrine under that umbrella through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Now, you know what I'm saying? So one more time. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 13. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And according that he... That the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, has written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speak in them of these things, in which are sometimes hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, wrestle with, because they're unlearned and unstable. As they do also the other scriptures until their own destruction, right? And that's why you have uh, elders and apostles and big brothers that, that uh, teach us these things, that, that give us this understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, right? Because the other the other people, they're not gonna get it. They're not gonna understand to their own until their own un destruction, right? It says, "Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things be things before, beware lest ye also." being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Right, so, hey, let's read that one more time. Let's read it a little bit slower. It says, Yet therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware, lest ye also be led away. Be what? Led away. Okay? With the error of the wicked. So like the, the camera just died, brothers and sisters. That's what happened. The battery it says for it says fall wait be led away with the error of the wicked so listen we don't want to be led away with the error of the wicked we want to be steadfast in the truth fall from your own steadfastness but grow in grace right and in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shai to him be glory both now and forever amen so look the Lord has commanded us to grow in the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. That's why we're seeking the Lord's face, man. And in doing so, you continue to make yourself a living sacrifice. You continue to do the right thing. Why? So you can be found spotless and blameless, man. Without spot and blameless, right? Because you've been made perfect with the with the with the washing of the word, man. You've been made clean. Because you believe. And so you're actually being doers of the word and not hearers only, man. 
and you've changed. You let go of that old man. Hey, hey man, it's, it's beautiful, right? So, hey, we just want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word, follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.